Yo, what's going on my dudes? Welcome to another Rootscape News coverage video. For this video, we're going to cover several things regarding the mining and smithing rework. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, most of this stuff is from Mod Clumsy's Twitter. We got some concept art for some of the things coming with the mining and smithing rework. So first off, I want to look at the new smithing hammer. We see this right here. Here's an image of the model of what it's going to look like in game. On the left, you see the original what we have currently in the game as of right now, which it looks pretty cool. You know, just bringing it up to date with the modern graphical fidelity of what we expect with modern things coming to the game nowadays. This is obviously the what you're going to be seeing your character using physically whenever you make it anything at an anvil, as you'd expect. Assuming you're not using any other particular type of hammer, like the Hammertron from invention obviously you would be using that one instead of this but it looks cool overall just nothing like major in terms of like improving anything about the build itself just bringing it more in line with the modern look and it looks great by the way so that's cool that will be coming with the mining and smithing rework and again this is just the generic hammer but most people are going to be using it because if you're not trading invention with your smithing you'll be seeing your character use this hammer instead that being said, I want to quickly move on to the next image we have here. And this is the new highest tiered pickaxe. I did have a video where I covered pickaxes and how they're going to work in a previous video. So do look back at that if you want to go into more detail as to how exactly the various different pickaxes are going to work in the game. What new pickaxes we can expect and how they function with invention as well. But like I said, this is the highest pickaxe you're going to get in the game known as the pickaxe of earth and song. I did cover about how you're going to get this, but I'll quickly reiterate again for this video. This is actually the combination of the Crystal Pickaxe and the Imkando Pickaxe combined with a Blast Fusion Hammer. So if you want to get this pickaxe on release, like I said, it is the best one in the game or will be the best one in the game when this launches. Do make sure you get your hands on both a Crystal Pickaxe and the Incamdo Pickaxe and do pick up a Blast Fusion Hammer. The Incamdo Pickaxe is the one that you have to get from the Lava Flow Mine with the Lava Geyser random event. So you might have to camp there for some time before you get your hands on that pickaxe. But do try to get it ahead of time if you want to stay ahead of the curve and have this on launch. There is a smithable version that is similar in terms of how good it is when mining. Not as good, but you can make one through Elder Rune. You can have an Elder Rune plus 5 pickaxe. It would be a decent one to add to your tool belt while you have this one because you can augment this one, but not the ones you smith from the new ores coming out in the game. Overall, let me know what you guys think. It's pretty cool. I also have an image here of showing what it looks like in-game against the player model. So you get a look of what it looks like being both sheathed and wielded in your hand. Just to give you a feel of exactly what it looks like physically in the game. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. It's a combination of both the crystal. You can like physically actually see the combination of dwarven and elven manufacturing which is actually a pretty cool and neat stylistic choice the last thing i want to touch on this is actually not really new information but they did have a live stream about a week and a half ago or so regarding the mining and smithing rework i didn't really cover it for two reasons first of which there wasn't much new information a lot of it was stuff i have covered in many previous videos going over the design documents etc but they did show off the stuff that were in the design documents that we haven't previously seen actually in game but like i said if you've been following along with me and my channel not much new in terms of information just showing off some of the stuff and where they are in progress in terms of the mining and smithing rework they did reveal however in that live stream that the mining and smithing rework beta will be in november which is pretty exciting and leads me to believe assuming we get it this year we haven't heard otherwise so i don't see why i wouldn't get it this year they haven't said it's being delayed till 2019 so assuming mining and smithing reworks come in this year which it should it's looking like the full launch will come in december because they said by the time the second beta comes out which it will be in november like i said the mining and smithing launch will be near completion the beta is only just to fix minor tweaks here and there that the community comes across and 
they weren't able to maybe find on their own or maybe just minor tweaks that we feel as a community need to change before the final launch. So there shouldn't be much work on their end from the launch of the beta versus the full launch, which is why I think it should come in December, just a month after the launch of the beta. So there's that. The second reason why I haven't really covered the video, and I have talked about this on my Twitter if you do follow me, lately I've been suffering for the past like two months and some change from keratoconus, which is a swelling of one of my eyes, made it very difficult to see and I couldn't look at screens for long periods of time, which is why the uploads on the channel have been greatly reduced. I always did try to get out the Monday updates at least, regardless of if I was later in the day or not, I still always made it a point to come out with the Monday updates, so I still did that. But I'm now seeing a near full recovery, so the uploads should come at a much more frequent time now, and very very shortly we'll be back on schedule like we used to be. Tomorrow, I believe, is a patch notes stream, so I should be covering that and showing you guys what we can expect on Monday. I do believe that they will be coming out with their month ahead for next month tomorrow as well. I really won't be covering that because it's pretty straightforward in their own video, though, but I just want to give you a heads up that that will probably be available tomorrow. Other than that, I don't think there will be anything else until next Monday, which will be the game update. Don't know what it is as of yet, but we should learn shortly. And next week, obviously, is RuneFest, and I will be covering it extensively on the channel like I have for the past couple of years. So nothing new there. Stay tuned, and you will be informed about all which you can expect, or all that was revealed at RuneFest. That being said, I'm going to wrap up the video there. If you enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you guys tomorrow. If you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, hit that subscribe button. And I am out. Peace.